Hey everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to override your most recent commit and first of all I want to go through some real real world scenario uh, to why and when this strategy is applied and let's for example I have some moments uh, where I forgot to run a linting but I already committed my I committed my change and when I push uh, push my change to remote repository it just uh, the pipeline fails because of linting checks uh, strict linting checks in github workflows or GitLab pipelines and in this case creating new commit cannot make a much sense to me um, because it's just additional commit and probably the message going to be lint or something so I believe that linting part is or linting stuff is part of my original commit. That's why I prefer to override my commit with these linting chains and push it again. So I will show you now how. Let's say we have right now, if I type git log, we have two commits. And the most recent one is this, and the message is invalid commit. And I will I will just make some change, for example, let's say add and save then I will stage my change and then git commit and instead of creating a new commit message or uh, instead of cre creating a new commit I will simply override the most recent one by adding this dash dash amend uh, option and then uh, I will write my message so dash dash amend and again we are defining this M option as we always do for, git com uh, for creating commits and the message also going to be updated so let's say updated message and commit let's type git log and you will see that there is no any new uh, git commit but our most recent one is now changed um, also I will for example let's say you only want to uh, update you only want to update message of commit you it can it can happen sometimes I don't I don't like maybe uh, the message that I put in commit then I I'm I decided to change it uh, you can simply just write this and the commit message will be changed you need to write a dash dash amend and uh, this M option and then the commit message but in case you do not prefer to write commit message each time let's say I will add another change in the code and git add so I don't want to change commit message this time then I will just write git commit dash dash amend and dash dash no edit so this no edit flag basically will keep my commit message same but it will update uh, the commit itself git log and there you go so as I said um, overriding git uh, like git commit is recommended only if you have a slight change that has not maybe a big impact uh, on the on the for, for like on the artist work or let's say in the code base but if you are applying something I don't know if you're adding a new feature or if you're adding a new bug or fixing some critical part then it's it's highly recommended to create a new commit message uh, otherwise you can uh, damage the history log or history log can be a messed up and so on uh, so yeah that is the uh, quick video I wanted to show you how to basically uh, override the commits that's all for now and yeah see you see you in the next one